So every Monday, Momentum Monday, is all about gaining momentum to take you not only through the day, but through the week. And it's so important. So I want to welcome you again to the idea of gaining momentum and realizing that it's all about we gain momentum at different rates of speed, at different velocity levels. And a few weeks ago, I had an amazing conversation with my brother who happens to be an electrical engineer and he was sharing with me and my sister all about the, in, the, the technicalities of what momentum means and from a scientific perspective and so I told him I want to invite you on to a momentum Monday so as soon as I can nail him down I will have him come and explain for himself probably may, way better than I can the ins and outs of momentum and the physics behind it and how important it is to, to be able to exert the force to move forward because a body at rest stays at rest unless the force is acted upon it. That much I remember from my physics class and that is so true. So in order to get going, you need some kind of pressure, some kind of force, some kind of energy that allows you to move forward. So that's what Momentum Money is about to help exert that little bit of pressure to nudge you off for the rest of your week. So at this time, I want to share with you some of the insights from my weekly supercharged weekly newsletter and highlight some points in there. And if you haven't signed up, as I said before, I invite you to sign up. It has relaunched, <laughs> I'm happy to say. And so um, you can sign up at the superchargecoach.com forward slash free gift where you will receive some wonderful mindset tips to avoid mindset traps that many entrepreneurs fall in. So in the Supercharge Weekly, I've divided into three main sections where I highlight different points. And today I have emotions, music, and some tools. So I welcome you on here. And the first section is about emotions reacting versus responding. And I would love your feedback on this concept. And the thought is, the Supercharge thought is, when you lose your temper, you lose your influence. And this is something that my mom would always say to me, when you lose your temper, you lose your influence. So, so important. And we know from not too long ago, the whole Will Smith, Chris Rock um, situation that took place that was most unfortunate. And this is very indicative of that, that when you lose your temper, you're most definitely lose your influence on a massive, massive scale. So how do we implement this thought? How do we learn to curb our impulses? So uh, the implementation exercise, I start off with this riddle, which is saying, what is the one thing you cannot get rid of by losing it? And I heard this shared in a sermon recently at my church, and this was included in the sermon. It says, what is the one thing you cannot get rid of by losing it? So I want you to think about that for a moment. We're gonna reveal the answer in a moment. But in the meantime, just to highlight the distinction between reacting versus responding. So reacting is more about just your first impulse. Like what comes to mind, you say it. What you wanna do, you do it. What you feel like doing, you wanna hit somebody, you hit them. You wanna curse them out, you curse them out. So that's kind of reactionary. It doesn't involve a lot of thinking, not a lot of reflection. However, making a more careful response means that you take the time. It, it suggests that time was inserted in there to actually reflect and to think and to stop. So you want to like breathe, maybe count to like a hundred, whatever number it takes to bring your temperature down and definitely think a few steps into the future. How will this land if I execute what comes to mind? And so you wanna consider the far reaching impact of your actions and not only how they affect you and maybe your family and, and so forth, but your business and your brand and ultimately your influence. When you do something out of character that really um, is damaging to what you're about, it, it really takes a lot of work to repair and to bounce back from that reaction. So, so I have here as a, quote, it is always better to respond after reflection than to react before thinking. It is always better to respond be after reflection than to react before thinking. So let me reveal 
the answer to the riddle, if you haven't already figured it out, what is the one thing you cannot get rid of by losing it? And the answer is your temper, your temper. <laughs> so people, you cannot, you cannot get rid of it by losing it. So we have to really take time. If you have, a if you're prone to throwing temper tantrums, you might want to start reflecting on that. I know when I was a little kid, I was very tem temper tantrum prone as most children are, because at that age, we just react, we react, we react, we react. And it's not that you're to ignore your emotions or ignore your feelings, but you have to curtail them in a productive manner. So that is one key point I wanted to highlight as we talk about that. I also wanted to share with you, also from the newsletter, music in my ear. Okay, people, I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm working, depending on what I'm working on, I like to have some kind of background music because the stillness kinds of makes my mind wander. And when I have some kind of something to kind of keep my brain waves flowing, and it's scientifically shown that music does help you depending when you're working or studying, but it depends what kind of music, okay? So I found this amazing soundtrack on, on YouTube by Dame Mitsuko Ushida. And it is amazing playing Mozart sonatas. So if you love, if you wanna be lulled into a state of higher thought, I invite you to go and listen to this amazing rendition by this um, incredible genius of a pianist. Dame Ushida. Uh, so that's another thing I highlighted in there with the link in the newsletter. And then finally, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this today, but the tools that I use, Notion. Notion, people, is changing my life one block at a time. And I do intend to share some insights on Notion, but very quickly, I'll go way more into this later on. This is just kind of a quick intro. But why I like Notion is that it provides me flexibility and freedom. Why so? Because it allows me to think the way I think and capture things in a way that I can actually go back and find it. And the freedom to know that I'm not going to lose information that I, I want to remember. And that's always been a challenge. I can write things down on about 20 different little pieces of paper and then don't know where the paper is, don't know where you put it, have 20,000 notebooks, can't find anything. With Notion, I can catalog things, organize things in a way that I have not been able to do on, in, an, in an app. So that's it. So the four reasons why I love Notion, and I use it every single day, multiple, multiple times a day, is, as I said, it captures data, captures my notes, captures every idea that I want to put somewhere. So if you really want to know what's going in my brain, to some degree, get my notion. <laughs> I don't put every, everything there, but I do put things I want to remember and organize. And then the second reason, of course, it organizes me on the go. I have it on my phone as my notion app. I also have it as a desktop app. So I have it everywhere I need it. And I can, instead of, again, just going to write something on a piece of paper, I open my app and I write it in there. Now, there are many apps that take notes like Evernote and all these things. So if you're comfortable where you are, what you're doing, by all means, use what system works best for you. I have found that Notion for me is perfect for how I think and how I work. So I am Notion all the way, okay? Then it allows me to schedule my tasks and my projects the way I want to do it, not to force myself into somebody else's system or style. I do it the way I want to do it. And then I can access with e access it with ease. It's free if you do the per, um, individual plan, which I have, and which suits me just fine. So as I said, I will talk more about Notion going forward. But today, I just wanted to give you an overview of some of the points I have in my Supercharged Weekly Newsletter. And hopefully, you will subscribe again at the SuperchargedCoach.com forward slash free gift, and you can get your weekly newsletter. So remember, when you lose your temper, you lose your influence, you do not want to do that. You just do not. And so finally, I want to invite you to, let me stop sharing here. I want to invite you to join me on Instagram, people, where I'm going to talk about the difference between cash versus profit. I put up an Instagram post last week highlighting that I would be talking about it in the newsletter, which I will going forward, but I wanted to mention it today. And I'll be doing a series of posts, posts, 
<laughs> on the difference between cash and profit. And you need to know the difference in your business because is there a difference? Come to Instagram to find the answer. I'm going to share that with you. And also on YouTube, I'll be doing some tutorials on that as well. So stay tuned for Tutorial Tuesdays where I will highlight different topics such as that. So thank you for joining me today for Momentum Monday. And I hope you have a momentous day accomplishing all your goals and getting through, supercharging through everything that you need to accomplish. And um, yeah, join me. I didn't even tell you my Instagram handle. It's at Emily the Entrepreneur. At Emily the Entrepreneur, join me over there on Instagram and you're gonna see all kinds of interesting things going on. Oh, we're gonna supercharge in a major way because my mission, and let me just leave you with this, my mission as a supercharged coach is to guide aspiring entrepreneurs who want to become savvy entrepreneurs and help them on that entrepreneurial journey with the, the tips, the insights, and the techniques that they need to have a more successful experience. Based on my background and experience as an entrepreneur for over 20 years, I want to share that with you to make your journey that much more enjoyable and maybe a little easier as well, but at least you'll have a sense of where this is all going. So join me for that. Um, again, at Emily the Entrepreneur on Instagram, and I will see you soon. I will see you next time here on Facebook and on YouTube. In the meantime, stay supercharged and see you next time.